Hello everybody, I'm back on this gorgeous sunny day. Now you haven't seen me for a couple of days, although I did do a video from behind the scenes because my wife Jenny, my secret weapon, has been making stuff for the NHS. You probably saw the drawstring bag so that the girls can take, or the, or the boys can take their scrubs home um, and obviously wash them safely. And also some headbands so that the head masks can fit them. So that was a day's work in the sun. Um, it was like Widow Twanky's laundrette out the back. <laughs> um, the boys have been making dens and we've been having fun, although we still have to have some lunch, so I did post a, a Thai fish cake on there for you. Here's the one you've been waiting for. Oh, I better take these off. Jenny let me know her sunglasses <laughs> earlier. Here's the one you've been waiting for, ladies and gentlemen. This is my easy make Donna Kebab. You can't get your hands on a gyro, you can't find yourself a Greek man to chop it and put it in a pitta. But what you can do is make it at home, and believe me, it works brilliantly. You make it up with, I'm going to put the menu properly, exactly for you, okay? Um, properly written out on this recipe, because I know you guys really want to give this one a go. That is 500 grams of minced lamb, okay? That's one tablespoon of flour, plain. On my spice uh, arrangement I have here, I have uh, a cayenne pepper, I have salt and pepper, garlic powder, garlic salt, paprika, cumin, Italian herbs and oregano. Um, in my fresh ingredients I'm going to put in, I couldn't get any onion powder, so I'm going to put a quarter of a finely, finely chopped onion, some very, very finely chopped mint, which I got from the garden, and a finely chopped chilli. Chili's optional, depending on whether the children are having it, but even a little bit in there won't do them any harm. It is as easy as this. I've also got some rapeseed oil. You can swap this for olive oil, okay? We're going to put a glug of rapeseed oil in. We are going to put all of our spices into our mince lap. We are then going to add our fresh ingredients. Now, guys, come on. This is not rocket science, is it? Okay? This isn't like something that's mega complicated either. Then we're going to put our flour in and we're going to get in there with our hands and we are going to amalgamate it all together. I'm going to come back to you in a minute once I've done that because I don't think you really want me to watch me doing that. And then we are going to put it, I've got here a meatloaf tin. It's actually a silicone one. But if you've got anything of this sort of shape, it, it, it just that when you slice it, you get those nice thin slices like you'd get from a gyro in a kebab shop. There's cling film there because once I've made it at the moment, I'm going to put it in here. I'm going to wrap it in cling film and I'm going to refrigerate it probably overnight or at least two or three hours so it firms up. And then we're going to whack it in an oven at about a gas mark seven for about 40 minutes. OK, so I'll get on with this. By the time you're back to me in a second or so, I will have made it. So I'll be back in a second. And I'm back again. Right, here we go. There we have. This is what you'll end up with, okay? Now, I've put it in here, 500 grams. This was a bit bigger than 500 grams, I didn't realise. So I've squashed it this way, squashed it that way, I've squashed it that way in my cling film. Now I'm going to wrap this up, okay? Nice and tight, he says. I put it in the wrong place, sorry about that. So we roll it. I mean, look at that. You can tell already that's going to be delicious. You need to get some pita breads, some white cabbage, some onion and lettuce and tomatoes and cucumber if you want it to be like a traditional chip shop one and lemon juice and your favorite chili sauce so what i'm going to do i'm going to wrap this up now really tightly so it's nice and firm okay now i'm going to pop this in our refrigerator and i'll come back to that in a minimum of three hours probably overnight to me um, so you'll probably see me wearing something different when I'm cooking it um, and I will cook that off and when the video comes out you will fall in love with it you don't need to go to the chip shop for the next couple of months and you can have a doner kebab every Friday and Saturday night of your lives stay in, eat well, stay safe hello everybody, I'm back right, this is the one you've all been waiting for as you know, we made our doner kebab meat we put everything together we set it in our thing, put it in our refrigerator. Well, that's been overnight. And here we have it. So, we've got here our patty, right? So, what we need to do is set our oven, preheat your oven at 7 degrees 
uh, sorry, 7 degrees, gas mark 7, so you have to look that up so I'll use a gas oven, uh, I'm not sure that is electric but it's dead easy to convert if you go online, so I've got a preheated oven at gas mark 7 and I'm going to put this in now for approximately 40 minutes, obviously I'll check the internal temperature and make sure that it's nice and crispy and brown on the top and then I'm going to slice and put together our kebab, so if you can grab some white cabbage, some lettuce, some onions, some tomatoes, some cucumber, whatever you like on your kebab. Get your lemon juice out, get your favourite chilli sauce. We'll put this bad boy together and you'll know you won't need the chick for the next 12 weeks. You'll be making homemade donna kebab. Stay in, eat well, stay safe. Hello, and we're back for our donna kebab. All the way from Greece. And Cyprus. Dedicated to Stavros Flatley. <laughs> Alexa, stop. That was some Greek dancing for you. Hope you enjoyed it. Now we're back for the money shot. Before I do the money shot, I'm dedicating the a healthy Donna Kebab recipe. I'm out of breath now to Lee Wooten under 10's football team, who you'll probably know, Harry, my son, is the goalkeeper. Yay! Big hands, save hands, Hazard. So I'm going to give this a big shout out because we were doing really, really well and now the league stopped. Um, a lot of people put a lot of effort in. So a big shout out to Vinny, the manager, who still has us training via a link on uh, Zoom every week, so he just cannot stop and give us a break. But well done, Vinny. We've got Mark, we've got Damo. We've got Chris Parkin and Joe, who does very well at home. We've got Alex Desi, a fellow Liverpool supporter who's waiting for Liverpool to win the league. We've got Dr. Glacko, don't forget him. We've got Kesh and Cray. We've got Lucy, who's Dylan's mum. We've got Benji and Trisha. Come on, Benji and Trisha. And we've got the Kirby's in Kenilworth. Who could forget you, Scott? I haven't forgotten you, mate. Don't you worry about that. Going back to our recipe. Come over here, Jem. This is the money shop. We're going to pull our little beautiful homemade, oh look at that, lovely, lovely mound of Donna Kebab meat. Now what I'm going to do, I am going to move this over to here, okay, oh, make sure it's not sticking to that, see it, there we go. I'm just going to put that on there, I'm going to cover that in foil. And I'm going to let that rest for about 10 to 15 minutes, okay? Like you would with any other piece of meat, you just leave that to rest, okay? Now what you're going to need to uh, make the rest of the kebab is pretty straightforward and whatever you would like. What I've got is some shredded lettuce, some finely chopped onion, finely chopped white cabbage, some tomatoes, a squeeze of lemon juice, obviously a pita, which I will just rub with a little water, Pop it under the grill, flip it over, pop it under the grill, cut it and open it up like a pocket. Then you've got a choice of some garlic mayonnaise or your very own favourite chilli sauce that you uh, obviously like. Get the sharpest knife you've got in the kitchen to slice the kebab meat because we want it to be quite thin. Um, and you will have yourself an incredibly tasty homemade donna kebab. So uh, Alexa, carry on. No, she doesn't like my dancing. Anyway, <laughs> when you come back, I'll have a lovely kebab for you to have a look at. And I'm back. Okay, I've grilled my pizza bread and I've filled it with lettuce, white cabbage and tomatoes. I've rested the kebab meat, so if Jenny comes over, if you can get the sharpest knife you've got, and we're looking for nice, thin slices of kebab meat. Oh, look at that, come on. You just know how tasty that's going to be. And do you know what? That's not greasy in the slightest. So I think that's about enough. You don't get too big a portion in my house. This is healthy. Then what we're going to do, we're going to roll this round. I'm going to hold it. Tastes like going to school lane. I'm going to put my kebab meat inside. Oh, that looks incredible. Look at that. There we go. We'll top that with a little tiny bit more salad. Oh, look at that. A little bit of onion. Oh, Harry's here. Look, he's running into shots. smell it. We've got some chilli sauce, which we'll put a little bit on. 
Um, and here we go, our fresh lemon. Jay, can have, you can smell it from upstairs and they're coming down. You might want to add garlic mayo. But there we have the Lee Wootton's so fast. homemade Donna Kebab. And you guys can make that easily at home and you can enjoy it while you are staying in, eating well. Guys, stay in, eat well, stay safe. Thanks for the food. Thanks for the food. Bye. You can take it.